1989 Mark II Golf GTI 8 valve, uh, three door model in probably the glossiest black I think I've ever seen on a Golf. Uh, we'll start with the bodywork. So if we start on this front arch and front quarter, basically all you're going to do is see loads of reflections of me all the way around because the thing's gleaming. The arch plastic's all nice and clean. It's not faded. It's not caked in oil or anything like that. To get it shiny, it is just a nice shiny plastic arch. Same goes with the front bumper in the corner. Yeah, that's lovely. Indicator lenses, headlights and everything are good. Grill's nice. Lower valance again is all nice and clean. Going down the driver's side. Indicator lens, nice and clean. Sills are good. They've not been bottomed out or caught or anything like that. All really good, nice and shiny. Windows and glass are nice and clear. The rubbers are, are good. They're not perished or ripped or or faded or anything like that. Got the original teardrop alloys on it, but all four of them have the locking center caps, which is pretty rare. Four really good tires on it. If you look down the side of it, I mean, it's it's, it's so straight, and it, especially on a black car, it's really difficult, it's gleaming. On the rear, same story again, really. Bumper sits straight. It's not got any wonky bits, it's not raised anywhere, it's nice and clean. Tail lights are good, the original hell is on there. The lower valance again, same scenario. Same down this side again, look, super straight, there's not even a real parking ding to notice. It's, it's obviously been well loved, it's obviously been well polished, it's only on 60 odd thousand miles. We're going to be really, really picky. That's coming away slightly there. All that wants is readjusted just so it sits a little bit better, just because it's everything else sits so properly on the car. It's not even any scratching around the handles. Wing mirrors are good. The bonnet's brilliant. Like, I mean, might as well be a mirror. That. Same story with the roof around the sunroof. There's no corrosion. It's just. Lovely. There's a tiny little scratch there. Might be able to see that. Probably from a cat or something, I guess. If you go into the interior, it's got the check seats. On the driver's seat, there is a little bit of wear on the bolster where they all go, but actually, the rest of the seat's good. There's no marks on the actual fabric. What you'd really want if you want to sort that out is get a, get a good upholstery, replace that bit of fabric on the bolster, and off you go. Steering wheel's in good condition, no cracks along the top of the dash. All the interior bits are good. Carpets are nice. There's no funny smells or anything in here. 62,057 miles. Rear bench seats is exactly the same situation, so no marks on it at all. It's all nice and clean, there's no stains. There's not even really any marks from it being kicked or anything on the back of the seats. Yeah, really good. Have a look on the passenger side, but it's pretty much the same scenario. Yeah, the seat's pretty much brand new. No marks at all on the bolster, no wear at all on it. Carpets on this side are all good. Glove box latch and everything is good. Still got what looks to be an original stereo in there. It hasn't got a big gaudy head unit. The gator on the, on the gear stick, to be fair, just to make it that little bit better once replaced. And the same scenario on this side, all really good. If we have a look in the boot. Nice to still have the original parcel shelf. Both the straps are still intact. Boot floor is nice and clean. So is the wheel well covers. Underneath. Just on, see, one's a good dust or a hoover, but no sign of any rot or corrosion at all. Really is a very clean car. Much the same story under the engine bay. Really nice and clean all the way around. There's no sign of any corrosion. No, I mean, it would, it would definitely benefit from a Sunday afternoon clean, but this is pretty much how a, a, a GTI engine bay looks. You can detail them all you want, but this is pretty common for them. Under the bonnet, again, undersize nice and clean. We'll get started up. It's been with us a couple of days now. It always starts on the button. 
Once you press the immobilizer, it does have an immobilizer with it. Pretty much every hot hatch from the 80s had. There you go, straight away. Takes over lovely. I've driven it down the road, it drives really well. Nothing to complain about at all. There you have it. Three door, gloss black, Mark II Golf GDI. If you've got any questions, give us a shout. If you want to come and have a look, let us know. We'll book you in. If you can't get to it, get in touch. We can do a video call. We can send you any more pictures that you might want. Anything you need, just give us a shout. Thank you.